Hello, welcome back to Happy Apple Gore Homestead. Uh, Happy New Year. It is New Year's Eve right now. And I just wanted to give a little quick update. I have been washing these beehive frames. I left them in my shed and my shed has mice. So I was so excited to, you know, get them all prepared with some new wax and I dug them out and they're covered in spider webs and they're covered in little mouse poops. So I have um, a fairly decent sized property and I've had to actually huck this water, like hot water from my house, right? Cause I had this grand idea, like I'm gonna wash these in my bathtub and it'll be super easy. Yeah, no, you can't do that because if you do that, then the wax, the little residual wax that, um, comes on the frame so these are all um, if you can see them they're basically naked frames so the bees haven't drawn them out um, with comb yet um, but they do come often with a little bit of a wax residue on them so I couldn't wash them in my bathtub because that would bugger up my system you know like the septic and the pipes and so you can't do that so out here I have this huge tote and it's full of water with a, a splash of bleach and a little bit of um, dish soap. And I just dunk them in super hot water, scrub them down, and then I've got a hose out here. Sorry, my Christmas decorations are still up outside because I've been so busy. Uh, and then over here we've got plenty that have already been washed up. I've got about... I don't know, probably three or four times more of those that I've got to rinse off. And then I'm going to um, dry them up in my studio, my pottery studio, which is nice and warm and mice free. So they'll go up there, they'll get nice and dry, and then I'll put a coat of fresh beeswax over the top and I'll store them so that they can't um, get any more mouse poop and pee on them. And they'll be ready to use uh, come springtime. So another thing I did today is I did the first step of rendering some of the wax cappings from my last honey harvest. And um, I'll see if I can insert some photos here for you so you can see what that looks like. Um, but otherwise, that's what we've been up to here on the homestead. I'm sure you can hear um, crazy roosters. They're going to be dinner soon. Just saying. We got more roosters than we need. And yeah, so happy new year. And um, we'll be back with tons of new fun homesteading videos in just a few more days. Okay, bye! So here's the studio where I, this is the pottery studio, and I am drying this batch of frames all over the place. Uh, one thing I didn't mention before is and this probably goes totally without saying, but you're gonna wanna shake out the water. Like, so this has been sprayed down with a hose to get the uh, cleaning solution off. Check this out. Like there is a ton of water in there. And if you want these to dry, you know, anytime in this year, well, I guess that's kind of dumb because this year is over and like, eight hours but if you want it to dry anytime soon you know go ahead and just tap that water out there's like a ton of it in there i'm making a huge mess over here but these are waterproof floors because this is a pottery studio also where i do many things um over here i said i was going to mention earlier uh the rendering of the wax Really quick, I just want to show you. I use this hot plate. Um, underneath this here is a kiln shelf. And um, yeah, it's not going to affect the wood table. Well, the faux wood table. And this is the wax from the first rendering. It will have to be done several times. This is going to sit here overnight. And tomorrow morning, I will do the second rendering. And I might do a video on that for you guys. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to say shake off your frames. These are gonna sit in here and dry. We'll do another video on applying a wax layer. 
All right, once again, Happy New Year. Bye.